from your browser, go to Google and type download Anaconda in the search box. The first link should be anaconda.com with a pathway to individual edition. Click on the link. Scroll to the bottom of the page and you should see Anaconda installers. You will be able to select the download file for Windows. As at the making of this video, the most recent edition is 3.8. The edition you see would be the most recent edition and may not be 3.8, which is fine. Click on 64 bit graphical installer and the file should be downloaded within a minute or two, depending on your internet speed. Once the application is downloaded, double click to run the installation file. Click on next. And you'd have to agree to the terms and conditions and I'll click on next. Click on next and go ahead and install the application. And this might take a few minutes for the installation to be completed. Now we have our installation completed, click on next and click next. And now we can finish the installation. We have successfully installed Anaconda. Now we can launch Jupyter Notebook, which is an application hosted by Anaconda that enables us to write and run Python codes. To launch Jupyter Notebook, click on your start menu and scroll down to Anaconda. Click on the drop down menu and right there you see Jupyter Notebook. I'm going to open that up. And now we have Jupyter Notebook opened. The next thing I'd like to do is to pin Jupyter Notebook to my taskbar. That way I can have quick access to, to Python. Now the next step would be for us to open up a file. Now, when you launch a Jupyter Notebook, you won't see all of these files that I have here. That is because I had installed Jupyter Notebook previously and I have all these files. Now, next thing is you can click on new, click on Python 3, and this should launch a new file where you can start writing your Python codes. In the next video, I'll walk you through the Jupyter Notebook environment and we'll start learning how to code in Python.